Hey, how you doing? I'm Diesel, and this is gonna be Jeep of the Month. This is Jim, and let's have a walk around and see what he did, because he did quite a bit. JL, two door, and the one thing, Jim, that people have questions about is the actual color. If I go to the dealership and I ask for that color, what is its official name? Its official name is Bikini Pearl. Now, that, what does that have to do with blue? teal or green i don't know i don't understand it at all but it's called bikini pearl some marketing guy came up with that name works for me i love the color so we're gonna call it bikini pearl seems logical <laughs> all right well let's check it out so as you can see the front end has the beautiful r tech front bumpers on it with the skid for our uh sway bar disconnect the uh, gold color that you see is actually matching the dirty life wheels which ties it in together really well we got the worn winch with the awesome factor 55 that is definitely a uh, must here at stacked off-road and he didn't spare any any expense he went straight to the best steering on her steer smarts and um, once you put that steer smarts on there, you could tell right away you're steering. Yeah, it was a lot better than stock. I'm really pleased. I'm not having to sit there and worry about death wobble. I'm like, look, this thing works. So, you know. Perfect, I'll very happy. Um, one um, custom thing that we covered when we finished this Jeep that I definitely want to bring up on the Jeep of the month is the Artec skid on a two door. That is super rare and definitely Jeep unique across the United States. Cal Fab diff covers, Cab Fab diff covers are freaking super badass and they are the red Rubicon color, same as the hooks and our Factor 55. It is a Rubicon, so we got our no limit sway bar links and this has got a very unique suspension system on it. Rock Crawler came up with a T Rex system. The T-Rex is just like the dinosaur. It's got our mid arm in the front with our massive, massive long arm in the rear. If you look right here, you can see where the factory mounts used to be for, for, for the standard arms. And then the long arms, you can see where they go toward the front of the vehicle, give you better operation and a smoother ride. One thing that Jim did the research on and was very happy with are these locked bump stops. And we got bump stop pad. We had to work with that a little bit, but I think we got it figured out. We got the, um, the taller shock mounts that raises it. And then on our rear axle, you can see it's got the high clearance control arm mounts and shocks. And then again, the cab fab diff cover we like the big solid iron they're pretty badass now diesel when i first met him he was talking about a bumper and a at least i was a bumper and a tire carrier he looked at me and said you're going on the wrong path dude i didn't know diesel from adam so i said well what should i get he says a rusty tile a tire carrier along with a, a proper bumper and i said great well the problem is after you get all this stuff, dude, what do you do with your license plate? Here's the solution. Now, this is a one-of-a-kind. You can't get it anywhere else except here at Stacked Off-Road. It's diesel, Stacked Off-Road, diesel built. That Custom is awesome. Made. That is, I am so grateful for all I'm grateful for that. Here. Customers are awesome. So, yeah. And we definitely did put a good quality bumper on it with the R-Tech. R-Tech is just um, second to none. They are a great company. And like he said, the Rusty's Tire Carrier, they really got a good uh, carrier on that. So we're just coming around. R-Tech inner fenders. Once again, the long arm suspension, Dirty Life wheels. Now, one thing I will add is that I hope to at one point in time, our tech is coming out with some rock sliders. I hope to get those and put those on the Jeep at this time. This, these are just some temporary ones that I found that'll serve the purpose, but I do hope to go with an Artec type rock slider in the future. I actually got to see some prototypes in Moab last 
last week. They're pretty amazing. So hopefully they come out soon. That looks great. We got Artec front inners and another uh, little situation that the JL guys have really been loving. And this is the steering box track bar um, strengthening. And you can see it actually goes on the sector shaft strength. Um, top it off, we have full Artec armor system on the whole front axle. So overall, this Jeep is definitely done nice enough to be considered stacked off-roads Jeep of the month. This is the owner. Congratulations. Great job. Beautiful Jeep. And I can't wait to see what can actually top this next month. Thank you again, Diesel, for all your hard work here at Stacked Off-Road on my vehicle. It would not be what it is without you. That's right. You just got jacked and stacked right here at Stacked Off-Road. Jeep of the month.